Good morning, Chantilly. I'm Madeline Dawson. And I'm Melanie Nolosko. Today's Thursday, April 25th, 2024. And here are your morning announcements. Today is a B-Day. Tomorrow is an A-Day with LS2 and CC4. Boys tennis has an away match against Centerville at 4. Girls tennis has a home match against Centerville at 4. Track has a meet at Westfield at 4.45. Boys Lacrosse has an away game against Centerville, JV at 545 and Varsity at 715. Girls Lacrosse has a home game against Centerville, JV at 6 and Varsity at 730. Baseball has a game against Madison at 630, JV at home and Varsity away. Softball has a game against Madison at 630, JV at home and Varsity away. Congratulations to the Esports League of Legends team for placing second in the state this weekend at Old Dominion University. The team consisted of Andy Zhang, Shan Hong Min, Brandon Lin, Thien Lin, Parash Kanal, Felix Do, and Alejandro Aliste. This week is Wellness Week. Today's Spirit Day is Teachers Dress as Students and Students Dress as Teachers. Tomorrow, wear green for mental health awareness. Latin Club is having a pizza party after school tomorrow to celebrate Rome's birthday. If you wish to participate, please bring $5 to contribute to pizza. Additionally, the club will have daily trivia questions this week. If you wish to participate, scan the QR code. Students who submit the correct answers will have the opportunity to win a prize at the pizza party. Chantilly and Centerville High School will be hosting a Korean Cultural Night at Centerville High School tomorrow from 6.30 to 9 p.m. There will be performances, booths, snacks, raffles, and more. The last step before graduating with a teaching license is an eight-week internship. Here's Delaney with more. Education students spend their final semester at college in teaching internships. We have two student teachers at Chantilly right now. Basically what happened is my junior year of college, we had to fill out this giant form about um, everything that we've accomplished, our classes, what degree we were getting, and then what possible schools we wanted to teach in and what districts we wanted to student teach in. So I grew up in the Fairfax County area, so I decided to come back home for my student teaching. So for health and physical education, we do half of our semester in elementary school and then we do half in either middle or high school. They kind of tell us what we're expecting ahead of time so we kind of know already and then it's all just about getting practice doing our job. It's, it's a whole eight week process so the first few weeks it's a lot um, observation um, then we kind of split responsibilities as we get into the middle of that time period and then at the end of that eight weeks it's really just uh, Miss Ainge going to be teaching the entire time. They are teaching, but actually they are unpaid because they're doing their student teacher experience. So really, they're giving up a lot of hours um, during the day, and their their job is unpaid. So after my student teaching, I'm hoping to eventually teach high school choir. I really love my experience here at Chantilly. This is exactly what I want to do and exactly where I want to be. So I'm currently in the interview process of trying to find a job. Since I was employed through the county to coach at Westfield, I was able to start the process a little bit earlier. What I decided to prioritize was finding administration that I would like and that I would have support and a county that would give me support. Um, Chantilly definitely has good admin and my future school has good admin. This semester, student teachers are on track to start their new jobs in the fall. This has been Delaney Brooks for the Nightly News. Now back to you. I've never had a student teacher before. Me either. Maybe I'll have one next year. Well, that's all we have for you today, Chantilly. This has been Melanie Nolosko. And Madeline Dawson reminding you to stay positive, stay safe, and have a great day. And we'll see you tomorrow.